Energy Vibrations How to Protect Your Energy from Low Vibrations Written by Kelvin W. Nathan Published by Audiobooks Office Introduction Energy Vibrations How to Protect Your Energy from Low Vibrations serves as a beacon of light for those seeking to navigate the often tumultuous waters of energetic exchanges in their daily lives. This fascinating guide delves into the invisible world of energy vibrations, revealing their enormous effects on our mental, emotional, and physical well-being. Through a compelling narrative, the author explained the concept of energy vibrations, offering you a deep understanding of how energy works and how it influences your experiences and interactions. Each chapter is laid out as a practical guidebook, providing you with the knowledge and tools you need to detect, navigate, and defend yourself from low-frequency energies that can cause weariness, tension, and a general sense of imbalance. The book takes a complete approach to energy management, covering everything from grounding techniques and defensive visualizations to cultivating high vibrational behaviors and situations. Energy vibrations is not just about protection, it's about empowerment. It teaches you how to consciously elevate your own vibration, attract positive energy, and create a life resonant with happiness, health, and harmony. With actionable advice, personal anecdotes, and easy-to-follow exercises, the author guides you on a journey to reclaim your energy and live with a renewed sense of purpose and peace. This book is an essential read for anyone who has ever felt overwhelmed by the negativity of others, the environment, or the world at large. It's for those who seek to understand the power of their own energy and learn how to maintain its purity and strength, regardless of external circumstances. Dive into energy vibrations, how to protect your energy from low vibrations and embark on a transformative journey towards energetic resilience and vibrational harmony. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 75% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and like the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Now, take your journey further. You're set to unlock more secrets to high vibrational living. Chapter 1. Understanding Energy Vibrations First, you need to understand that energy vibrations often invisible yet profoundly impactful, shape the way we experience our lives and interact with the world around us. These vibrations are like silent conductors, orchestrating our moods, thoughts, and ultimately our life's outcomes. Imagine them as unseen strings pulling us towards situations, people, and experiences. They're not just mystical or abstract concepts, they're rooted in scientific principles, particularly quantum physics. Now, you're probably thinking, quantum physics? Isn't that a bit heavy? Well, bear with me. You don't have to be Einstein to get this. Essentially, everything in the universe, including us, is energy. We're all made up of atoms, and these atoms are in constant motion, creating vibrations. These vibrations resonate at various frequencies, which we then perceive as our physical reality. High-frequency vibrations equate to positive emotions like love, joy, or gratitude. Low-frequency vibrations, on the other hand, correspond to negative emotions like fear, anger, or sadness. But here's the most important part we've got control over our vibrations. We're not just passive receivers, we're active transmitters. The thoughts we have and the emotions we feel all contribute to our vibrational output. And this output doesn't just affect us, but the world around us, too. Like ripples in a pond, our vibrations can influence the people and situations we encounter. Chapter 2. Identifying Low Vibrations To protect your energy, it's crucial to be able to identify when you're in the grip of low vibrations. You might be wondering what exactly does a low vibration feel like. It's often characterized by feelings of negativity, a lack of inspiration, pessimism, and a general sense of unease or discomfort. You might find yourself feeling drained, experiencing mood swings, or struggling with low self-esteem. Understanding these signs is key to maintaining an optimal energy state. However, 
It's not always easy to recognize them in the chaos of our busy lives. It's important to take time to check in with yourself regularly. Listen to your body and mind, they're your best guides. Are you experiencing a constant state of stress, anxiety, or worry? This could be a clear indication of low vibrations. Unresolved emotional difficulties, frequent health problems, and living in a polluted environment can all lead to a lower vibrational state. Remember, low vibrations aren't necessarily bad. They can serve as a wake-up call, signaling that something in your life needs attention. It's about understanding these signals and learning to navigate them. One more thing you should be aware of is the power of your thoughts. Negative thinking patterns can significantly lower your vibrational frequency. If you're constantly dwelling on past regrets, future anxieties, or negative self-talk, you're likely operating at a low vibration. Chapter 3. Impact of Negative Energies While you may not realize it, being enmeshed in negative energies can have profound effects on your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. This isn't just a spiritual concept, it's a reality that's recognized by psychologists, energy healers, and even some medical professionals. Negative energies, or low vibrations, can wear you down, leaving you feeling drained, stressed, and out of sync with yourself and the world around you. Physically, you might notice persistent fatigue, sluggishness, or a general lack of energy. You could also experience more frequent illnesses or health issues, as negative energies can weaken your immune system. Emotionally, you may feel anxious, depressed, or constantly on edge. Mentally, you could struggle with concentration, memory, or cognitive function. These are all signs that you're absorbing too much negative energy. But how does this happen? Well, you're like a radio antenna, constantly picking up signals from the universe. When those signals are negative, they can disrupt your own energy field, causing imbalances and blockages. This can happen through negative people, stressful situations, or even through certain places with a heavy energy footprint. Chapter 4 Importance of Energy Protection Understanding the impact of negative energies naturally leads us to the necessity of protecting your energy field. It's crucial to realize that your energy acts as your personal shield against low vibrations and taking steps to strengthen and maintain it becomes a part of your self-care and wellness routine. It's akin to building a protective wall around your emotional and spiritual well-being. Now, you may wonder, why is energy protection so important? Just like your physical body, your energy field can be penetrated by harmful influences. Negative energies can throw you off balance, cause emotional distress, and even manifest into physical symptoms. When your energy is unprotected, you're more susceptible to the low vibrations around you, which can come from various sources like negative people, stressful environments, or lingering past traumas. Energy protection helps you maintain your inner peace, mental clarity, and emotional stability. Moreover, it allows you to interact with the world without fear of being drained or overwhelmed. It's not about building a barrier to keep the world out, but about creating a filter that allows positivity and while keeping negativity at bay. Chapter 5. Clearing Your Energetic Space First off, let's delve into the process of clearing your energetic space, a vital step in maintaining a healthy, vibrant aura free from low vibrations. It's essential to understand that your personal energy field, also known as your aura, can be influenced by the energies around you. This influence can either be uplifting or draining, depending on the nature of the vibrations. Now, imagine your energy field as a room in your house. Just as you'd clean your room regularly, it's crucial to cleanse your energetic space too. When you're feeling drained, overwhelmed, or just off, it's likely your energetic space needs a good clearing. Begin by becoming aware of your energy. Sit quietly, close your eyes, and tune into your body. Feel where tension, heaviness, or blockages may be. Visualize this negative energy as a dark cloud. Now picture a bright light radiating from your heart, gradually filling your entire body. See this light dissolving the dark cloud, transforming it into light. This is your own energy, 
purifying and rejuvenating your energetic space. Chanting affirmations can also be powerful. Repeat phrases like I release all negative energy or I am filled with light and positivity saying these affirmations out loud can strengthen their effect. Chapter 6. Grounding Techniques After clearing your energetic space, it's crucial to ground yourself, helping to further shield your energy from low vibrations. Grounding, also known as earthing, is a way of connecting your physical body with Earth's energy. This connection can help you maintain your vibrational frequency and avoid the draining effects of lower vibrations. Picture grounding as the act of planting your feet firmly on the ground, allowing your body to absorb the Earth's energy. It's a natural and intuitive process that can create a sense of stability and tranquility. Now, you may wonder how to ground yourself effectively. The good news is, it doesn't require any special equipment or location. You can ground yourself anywhere, anytime. One of the simplest grounding techniques is barefoot walking. Try to walk barefoot on grass, dirt, or sand for a few minutes each day. As your feet touch the ground, envision the energy of the earth flowing up through your feet and circulating throughout your entire body. Deep, conscious breathing is another beneficial grounding technique. Find a quiet place, close your eyes, and take slow, deep breaths. As you inhale, envision bringing in positive energy. As you exhale, visualize any negative or low vibration energy leaving your body. Chapter 7. Setting Energetic Boundaries In the realm of energy protection, setting energetic boundaries is a vital step you can't overlook. It's akin to building a protective fortress around yourself that shields you from low vibrational energy. I understand that it might sound intimidating, but trust me, it's simpler than you think. Think of your energy as your personal space that needs safeguarding. Just as you wouldn't allow unwanted visitors into your home, you shouldn't let negative energy infiltrate your personal energetic space. To effectively set these boundaries, it's crucial to first recognize what drains your energy. It could be a certain place, person, situation, or even your own negative thoughts and emotions. Once you've identified these energy drainers, the next step is to consciously limit your exposure to them. It doesn't mean you have to cut off all contact or completely avoid these situations. Rather, it's about learning to say no when necessary and choosing to engage in ways that don't compromise your energy. Setting energetic boundaries also involves understanding your energy levels throughout the day and adapting your activities accordingly. If you're a morning person, Schedule your most important tasks during this time when your energy is at its peak. If you're more active in the evening, save your energy for then. To sum it up, setting energetic boundaries is about self-awareness, self-care, and conscious decision-making. It's a powerful tool in your arsenal to protect yourself from low vibrational energies. Remember, your energy is sacred, so treat it with the respect it deserves. Chapter 8. Cultivating Positive Energy while setting boundaries helps guard against negativity, it's equally important to actively foster positivity within your life. Cultivating positive energy isn't just about feeling good, it's about building an internal reservoir of joy, optimism, and strength that can shield you from negative vibrations in the universe. Think about your energy as a garden. If you want beautiful, vibrant flowers to grow, you can't just erect a fence to keep pests out. You have to plant seeds, water them, and give them plenty of sunlight. In the same way, your energy needs nurturing. It's not enough to simply block out negative vibes. You also need to sow seeds of positivity and nurture them until they bloom. Start by surrounding yourself with positive influences. These could be uplifting people, inspiring books, or activities that bring you joy. Practice gratitude daily. It is a simple action that can have a significant impact on your energy levels. By focusing on what's good in your life, you're helping to tip the scales in favor of positivity. Next, make a conscious effort to infuse positivity into your thoughts and actions. Speak kindly to yourself, give others the benefit of the doubt, and choose optimism over cynicism. It may feel unnatural at first, but with time, it'll become second nature. Chapter 9 
Practicing mindfulness daily. Shifting gears. Let's delve into the practice of mindfulness, a powerful tool you can use daily to further enhance your energy protection. Mindfulness is the practice of directing your attention to the present moment and accepting it without judgment. This practice can shield you from the chaos of the universe and fortify your energy against low vibrations. The first step is to understand what mindfulness is not. It's not about shutting out the world or avoiding negative experiences. Rather, it's about fully engaging with your life, moment to moment, without getting caught up in thoughts about the past or future. It's about observing your experiences without labeling them as good or bad. To practice daily mindfulness, start with just a few minutes a day. Sit comfortably, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing. Notice the sensation of each breath as it enters and leaves your body. If your thoughts wander, gently bring them back to your breath. It is okay if this happens frequently you are not doing anything wrong. The practice of mindfulness is a skill that gets better with practice. Over time, you can incorporate mindfulness into other parts of your day. You can eat mindfully, work mindfully, even wait in line mindfully. You'll start to notice that staying present helps to keep your energy field clear and strong, making it harder for low vibrations to affect you. Chapter 10. Using Protective Crystals Crystals, with their mesmerizing beauty and profound energy, can serve as powerful tools for protecting your energy from low vibrations. Each crystal possesses unique properties and vibrations that can fortify your energy field, shielding you from negativity and low-frequency energy from the universe. Imagine a crystal as your personal energy bodyguard. It's not only there to look pretty, but to also absorb, deflect, and transform the low vibrations that may be affecting your well-being. Black tourmaline, for instance, is known for its ability to transmute negative energy into positive. It's like a sponge, soaking up all the bad stuff so you don't have to. Amethyst, another powerful crystal, enhances spiritual awareness and wards off negativity. It's like your energy's best friend, always looking out for you and wanting the best for you. Similarly, smoky quartz can help you stay grounded while also detoxifying your energy. It's your loyal companion, keeping you connected to the earth and removing any harmful vibrations. Chapter 11. Purifying Your Energy Field Just as you cleanse your body, it's crucial to regularly purify your energy field, freeing it from the burdens of absorbed low vibrations. We often underestimate the impact that negative energies can have on our overall well-being. They can lead to feelings of fatigue, unhappiness, and even physical illness. Think of your energy field as a sponge that absorbs vibes from people, places, and situations. When it's soaked up too many low vibrations, it needs cleansing. Here's how you can do it. Start by grounding yourself. This means re-establishing your connection with the earth. You can do this by literally walking barefoot on the ground or through grounding meditation practices. Grounding helps you discharge negative energy, leaving room for the positive. Next, engage in cleansing activities that resonate with you. This could be through physical exercise, which not only removes toxins from your body, but also shakes off stagnant energy. Breathwork or pranayama can also be powerful as they help clear blockages in your energy field. Lastly, use high vibration objects, such as crystals or essential oils. You've already experienced using protective crystals in the previous chapter. These tools can increase your vibration and cleanse your energy field. Chapter 12. Shielding Visualization Exercise Now let's dive into a powerful tool to guard your energy, the Shielding Visualization Exercise. It's an effective way to safeguard your personal energy and ward off any low vibrations that might come your way. Don't worry, it's not as complex as it might sound. You've got this. Begin by choosing a peaceful, comfortable area where you will not be bothered. Close your eyes and take several deep breaths, allowing yourself to relax completely. Visualization is all about using your imagination to create protective energy around yourself. Imagine a bright, glowing light emanating from your heart. 
See this light expanding, growing brighter and stronger with each breath you take. Visualize this light forming a shield around your entire body, encasing you in its warm, protective glow. This shield is your barrier, your protection against low vibrational energy. It's composed of pure, high vibrational energy, a reflection of your own inner light. Any low vibrations that come into contact with it are instantly transmuted into higher vibrations that serve your highest good. Feel the strength and power of your shield. Know that it's always there, always ready to protect you. You can call upon it anytime you feel the need, reshaping and reinforcing it as required. Chapter 13 Balancing Chakras for Protection After fortifying your energy with the shielding visualization exercise, it's crucial to turn your focus towards balancing your chakras, another powerful way to guard against low vibrational energy. I understand how overwhelming this may seem, however, with a bit of patience and practice, you'll find it's a much simpler process than you might think. Understanding your chakras is the first step. Chakras are energy centers in your body, each one linked to specific physical, emotional, and spiritual aspects of your being. When these chakras are balanced, energy flows freely, resulting in a sense of peace and wellness. However, when they're out of sync, you may feel physically and emotionally drained, making you more susceptible to those low vibrations. Begin from the root chakra, which is found at the base of your spine. This chakra unites you to the earth and helps you feel grounded. Picture a vibrant red light here, growing brighter with each breath you take. Move upwards to your sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, and crown chakras, visualizing each one as a bright, shining light, each a different color. As you do this, you're not just imagining you're aligning your energy centers, bringing them into balance. Chapter 14. Sound Healing Practices Let's delve into the powerful world of sound healing, an ancient practice that can further bolster your defenses against low vibrational energy. It's more than just a soothing playlist. Sound healing uses specific sound frequencies to interact with your energy field and can bring about profound shifts in your vibration. Imagine, if you will, a tuning fork. When you strike it, it resonates at a specific frequency. Now, Consider your energy field as a sort of tuning fork. When you expose it to certain sound frequencies, it can resonate in harmony, boosting your vibrational energy and helping to ward off lower vibrations. The key to effective sound healing lies in the knowledge of frequencies and their impact. Each frequency corresponds to a different state of consciousness or energy center in the body. You might have heard of solfeggio frequencies, which are believed to have specific healing effects on the body and mind. For example, the frequency of 528 Hz is linked to DNA repair and transformation. Incorporating sound healing into your routine doesn't need to be complex. You can listen to sound healing music, use tuning forks, or even learn to chant certain mantras. Remember, it's not about the volume but the vibration. And the more you practice, the more attuned you'll become to these therapeutic frequencies. Sound healing can be a wonderful tool in your energy protection arsenal. It encourages balance, fosters healing, and helps you maintain a high vibrational state. So don't hesitate to explore this ancient art and allow the healing power of sound to elevate your energy. Chapter 15. Creating an Energetic Shield have you ever considered creating an energetic shield, a protective bubble of high-frequency vibrations, to guard against the intrusion of negative energies? If not, it's high time you did. This isn't just some airy-fairy concept, it's grounded in reality. You should defend your energy field just like you would your physical body. Creating an energetic shield involves the intentional setting of boundaries against lower vibrations that may drain or disrupt your energy. To do this, you'll want to visualize a bubble of white light enveloping you, keeping out any unwanted energy. It's important to infuse this visualization with your intention for protection and positivity. As you do this, you'll notice a sense of calmness and security permeating through you. This is the power of your energetic shield at work. But remember, maintaining this shield requires consistency and practice. 
It's not a one-time affair. Make it a part of your daily habit, like brushing your teeth or consuming your morning coffee. Don't worry if you struggle initially. It's all part of the learning process. You're strengthening your spiritual muscles, and with time you'll find it easier to create and maintain your energetic shield. Chapter 16. Connecting with Nature's Energy Often you'll find that immersing yourself in the natural world is a powerful way to recharge your energy and protect it from lower vibrations. Nature vibrates at a high frequency, which aligns with our body's optimal state. When we spend time outdoors, absorbing the energy of the sun, trees, and earth, we're essentially connecting with a source of pure, positive energy. Take a moment to think about how you feel after a long walk in a forest or a park. You're likely to feel refreshed, revitalized, and filled with a sense of peace. That's because you've been soaking up the high-frequency energy that nature emits. This energy serves as a natural shield, protecting us from the lower vibrations that can drain our vitality and joy. You don't need to be in a remote location to connect with nature's energy. You can do it right in your backyard or even indoors with houseplants. Take off your shoes and walk barefoot on grass or soil. Grounding or earthing is a method that allows you to directly absorb energy from the earth. Listen for the sound of birds chirping or leaves rustling in the wind. These natural sounds can harmonize your energy frequency with that of nature. Chapter 17. Releasing Negative Attachments Just as you can absorb positivity from nature, you also have the power to release negative energy attachments that may be draining your vitality. Understand, it's normal to experience low vibrations at times we're human after all. But when you're continuously surrounded by negativity, it's crucial to intentionally let go of these energy drains. Here's how you can do it. First, identify the source of these negative attachments. It could be a person, a situation, or a past event that's still affecting you. Once you've pinpointed the source, it's time to detach. It's not about ignoring or suppressing your feelings. Rather, it's acknowledging the negativity understanding its impact, and then consciously choosing to release it. Visualization is a powerful tool to assist in this process. Imagine the negative energy as a dark cloud. See yourself encased in a bubble of light and envision this cloud being pushed away from you, disappearing into the distance. Feel the weight lift from your shoulders as you do this. Remember, you're in control of your energy. Be patient with yourself. Releasing attachments can take time, especially if they're deeply rooted. You're not alone in this journey. Reach out for support when needed. Whether it's a trusted friend, a therapist, or a spiritual guide, having someone to share your experiences with can make the process easier. Releasing negative attachments is an essential step in protecting your energy. By letting go, you create space for positivity and peace. Embrace this transformative process and celebrate each step you take towards a higher vibration. Chapter 18. Manifesting Positive Vibrations Cultivating positive vibrations isn't just a concept, it's an empowering practice you can incorporate into your daily life to shield your energy from low vibrations. Think of your energy as a radio signal. You're always broadcasting and receiving frequencies. Positive thoughts, emotions, and actions broadcast high vibrations, while negative ones send out low vibrations. To manifest positive vibrations, start by setting a clear intention. Whether it's happiness, peace, love, or abundance, hold this intention in your mind and heart. Visualize it as an energy field around you. The universe responds to clear, focused intentions, and this is the foundation of manifesting positive vibrations. Next, infuse your daily routines with positive affirmations. These are powerful statements that reinforce your intention. For example, you might say, I am surrounded by love and positivity, or I attract abundance into my life. Speak these affirmations with conviction and feel the energy they generate. Third, practice mindfulness. Be present in the moment and recognize the beauty and positivity around you. This helps to keep your energy field vibrating high as you're not weighed down by worries about the past or future. 
Lastly, cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Gratitude amplifies positive vibrations and attracts more positivity into your life. Regularly express gratitude for what you have and the blessings yet to come. Chapter 19. Maintaining Energetic Hygiene In the journey of nurturing your energy, maintaining energetic hygiene becomes a crucial step you shouldn't overlook. Just like you take good care of your physical health, your energy body also requires regular upkeep and conscious care. This process of maintaining your energy clean, balanced, and vibrant is what we refer to as energetic hygiene. Start by being aware of your energy field. It's the first and most important step. You're not just a physical being. You're a vibrant, electromagnetic entity constantly interacting with the energy around you. By being mindful of this, you can better understand how external factors affect your energy. Avoid negative energy as much as possible. This doesn't mean running away from every challenging situation, but rather making choices that uplift rather than drain your energy. Surround yourself with positivity and eliminate toxic elements from your life, be it people, places, or situations. Regular grounding exercises are also important to maintain energetic hygiene. Connecting with nature, meditating, and focusing on your breath can help you cleanse and balance your energy. Take out time for these practices every day. Make them a part of your routine. Lastly, listen to your body. It's an intelligent system that communicates with you. If you feel drained or heavy, it could be a sign that your energy needs cleansing. Don't ignore these signs. Instead, take proactive steps to restore your energy balance. Chapter 20. Strengthening Your Aura After taking steps to maintain your energetic hygiene, you're now ready to fortify your aura, your personal energy field that acts as a protective shield around you. Just like taking care of your physical body, it's essential to strengthen and cleanse your aura regularly. Think of your aura as a magnet, attracting vibrations that match its frequency. If your aura is strong and vibrant, it pulls in positive, high vibrational energy. If it's weak, it attracts low, negative vibrations. So, how do you strengthen this vital energy shield? First, visualization is key. Picture your aura as a golden light radiating from within you, expanding outward. This light repels negative energy and attracts positive vibrations. Practice this visualization daily, and you'll soon feel a change. Next, engage in physical activities that raise your energy levels. Regular aerobic activity, yoga, and meditation are great ways to accomplish this. They not only keep your body healthy, but also stimulate your aura, making it robust and resilient. Your thoughts and emotions also impact your aura's strength. Maintain an optimistic attitude, even in difficult conditions. Embrace gratitude and love, as these emotions vibrate at a high frequency, strengthening your aura. Lastly, nourish your body with healthy food and plenty of water. Remember, your physical health directly affects your aura's strength. Chapter 21. Energy Protection Rituals Now that your aura is stronger, let's delve into energy protection rituals that can further safeguard your energy from unwanted low vibrations. These rituals can be simple yet powerful tools for maintaining a high vibrational state and can become an integral part of your daily routine. First off, grounding is a fundamental ritual. It's the act of connecting with the energy of the earth to stabilize yourself. You can achieve grounding by sitting or standing barefoot on the ground, visualizing roots extending from your body into the earth, or even just spending time in nature. Another powerful ritual is shielding. This involves visualizing a protective barrier around you that can deflect or transmute incoming low vibrations. Imagine a bright light surrounding you, forming a shield that only positive energy can penetrate. Smudging is also a common ritual. It involves burning certain herbs like sage or palo santo and letting the smoke cleanse your energetic field. However, always remember to do this with respect and intention, acknowledging the sacred nature of these practices. Energy protection rituals aren't about fear or avoidance, but about empowerment. It's about understanding that you have the power to influence your vibrational state and choose what kind of energy you want to interact with. 
So incorporate these rituals into your life and maintain your energetic hygiene. Chapter 22 Energetic Self-Care Practices While maintaining high vibrations through energy protection rituals is crucial, it's equally important to prioritize your energetic self-care practices, ensuring your energy reservoir stays replenished and vibrant. You have to understand that just as your physical body needs care and nourishment, so does your energetic body. Ignoring this aspect of your being can lead to energy depletion and make you susceptible to low vibrations. Start by paying attention to the signs your body gives you. If you're feeling drained, it's time to recharge. Engage in activities that inspire joy and tranquility, such as meditation, yoga, or spending time in nature. These practices not only replenish your energy, but also help you maintain a higher vibrational frequency. It's also crucial to keep your living and working spaces clean and clutter-free. Remember, your environments can either enhance or disrupt your energy. A serene environment fosters positive energy flow, contributing to your overall well-being. Diet also plays a crucial role in energetic self-care. Consuming foods that are high in life force energy, like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can significantly boost your energy levels. Stay away from processed foods and those high in sugar, as they may lower your vibration. Lastly, surround yourself with positive people who uplift you. Energy is contagious. Being around high vibrational individuals can enrich your energy, while being around those with low vibrations can deplete it. Chapter 23. Enhancing Energetic Resilience. To bolster your energetic resilience, it's essential that you're not only aware of your energy levels, but also proactive in protecting them from potential energy draining influences. Recognize indicators of energy depletion, such as excessive exhaustion, anger, and a loss of motivation. When you notice these, it's a hint that your energy might be under attack. Becoming resilient doesn't mean you're invincible, but it does imply that you can bounce back quicker from these energy drains. There are strategies you can employ to fortify your energetic resilience. One is to regularly practice grounding techniques. These can help anchor your energy and prevent it from being easily swayed by outside influences. Simple activities like walking barefoot on the grass or spending time in nature can be very effective. Remember, it's also crucial to keep your emotional and mental health in check. Negative emotions and stress can significantly drain your energy, leaving you vulnerable to lower vibrations. Try to manage your stress levels through mindfulness practices, such as meditation or yoga. Keeping up a balanced diet and engaging in regular exercise might also help you retain energy. Foods high in antioxidants help protect your cells from damage, and regular physical activity can boost your energy levels and overall mood. In essence, enhancing your energetic resilience is about nurturing a lifestyle that supports your physical, emotional, and mental well-being. It's about creating an environment where your energy can thrive, making you less susceptible to the low vibrations of the universe. Stay adapted for our next episode, which will cover the topic of embracing high vibrational living. Chapter 24. Embracing High Vibrational Living. Embarking on a journey towards high vibrational living can significantly elevate your energy levels, making you more resistant to the draining effects of lower vibrations. It's akin to building an inner shield, a protective barrier that can help you stay vibrant, positive, and energetic. But what does high vibrational living entail? It's about embracing positivity, love, kindness, and gratitude. It's choosing to surround yourself with uplifting people and environments. It's about nourishing your body with healthy foods that vibrate at higher frequency. It's also about maintaining a regular practice of meditation and mindfulness, which can help you stay attuned to your energy and the vibrations around you. Now, this might seem overwhelming at first, but remember, it's a journey, not a race. You don't have to change everything all at once. Start with small steps. Maybe it's choosing to start your day with a gratitude exercise or replacing one meal a week with a healthier alternative. Little by little, you'll notice a shift. Remember, it's natural to encounter lower vibrations. They're part of the human experience, but you have the power to choose how you respond to them. 
By embracing high vibrational living, you're choosing to rise above the negativity, to protect your energy, and to live a more fulfilling and vibrant life. It's a journey worth embarking on, and we're here to guide you every step of the way. So, are you ready to embrace high vibrational living? It's time to elevate your energy and protect it from the lower vibrations of the universe. Navigating the universe's energy can feel like sailing in stormy seas. But remember, you're the captain of your ship. By understanding and identifying low vibrations, you can steer clear of negative energies. Energy protection is your lifeboat, and with rituals and self-care practices, you can weather any storm. So embrace high vibrational living, it's your beacon of light in the dark. With resilience and knowledge, you can sail smoothly towards a life full of positive energy. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.